Okay, so um, today we are going to continue tying the wing, and uh, in this case, it's the uh, white tip turkey that I'm going to add on. So let me see how they will play together. I think it's a bit short actually. Let me see what I can do about it. That's okay. I think it's a bit short, so I'm gonna look for a longer piece on uh, my side. Saving it as a smaller yoke scoot. So let me see what we got here. Maybe that will work. So let's me try again. Now we have a better length. about the focus.
Okay, as you see, uh, I just uh, mounted uh, the wing there and uh, put some uh, wax on and a little bit uh, varnish. So I'm just gonna let it dry. And meanwhile, um, I'm gonna start to build the wings. The yacht scope. So let me just take out everything I got in my travel bag. See if I have anything useful. Now we are at the step to mount the wing.
So before I do that, actually we're gonna cut the leftover. I don't like it in the way. interfere with the wing when I'm putting it in place. adjustments really happy with that so I'm gonna reset it
There we go. That is in the wing mounted. So I'm gonna add some wax to the thread and then I put a little bit of varnish into it and then start to prepare the sides. So after that, I'm gonna continue the video, okay?
bitch. I mean, like, uh, the better. Let's continue. Let's try it on. So now it's that uh, time, sorry, <laughs> some Swedish there. So it's not, now it's time to cut the leftovers of uh, everything in the front here from the feathers and the sides and then add the topping and Macau horns on the fly and then it's uh, actually finished. So let's start to cut a bit here.
Så det vi gör det. Sen grinen. See if we can find something nice. It has a very, very long one for this fly. This is size seven hook. See what we got. That's a long one. Yeah, good work. So first of all, I wax the thread. It's important. Because the tail is, uh, I made the tail a li little bit long, so let me see if I can adjust that by adding even a bigger one. Might look better actually. Second one. Well, 
Já jsem mal ten litr bytom tady. Se sam bavíš? To si kýval. My dog is very interested in what I'm doing. She's running back and forward. So I'm gonna let this one dry. Then I'm gonna add the horns after. Just regular, then any other varnish. Okay, so now it's the time to attach the Macau horns. The flying. side as well. So I'm just gonna put some more varnish there, then I cut all the leftovers and then finish off the head and uh, add a few layers of varnish again. First clear them back. So now it's time to uh, cut the left legs and finishing off the head of the fly. So it's gonna back the thread again. Ooh. Notice I almost cut it. So let's reattach that one.
So carefully, I'm gonna attach some varnish again. Just applying varnish around the head and the backs of thread. That's basically yolk scot, so I'm gonna let the varnish uh, dry out, then I'm gonna remove the thread, and after that I'm gonna apply a layer of black varnish and let it dry, and uh, yeah, then the fly is ready to be sent to uh, the States. Simple as that. Okay, thank you for watching, and hopefully you're gonna try your own uh, yolk scot. So see you next time and if you have any suggestions or patterns you want me to tie add them in the comments or send me a message and I will do a video on it and uh, make sure to uh, watch my other videos and also to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out the next videos okay thank you